Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the twin V stitch. This is a pretty easy stitch. It might be a little bit more advanced beginner but this is a quick one row repeat and I really like this pattern a lot and all you need to know how to do is make double crochets and then with this you can create this very pretty and beautiful pattern. So let's get started on today's tutorial on how to make the twin V stitch. So for today's tutorial I'm just going to use some worsted weight yarn and this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and this is considered a number four weight like I said. It's 100% acrylic. It's a seven ounce 199 gram skein it's 355 yards or 325 meters. Now you can use whatever yarn that you would like. This is just the yarn that I'm going to be using today. And then you're also going to need a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now I'm just going to be using the coordinating hook that is recommended on the yarn label. So if you wanted to use a different yarn and a different hook, I would just look on your yarn label for that recommended hook size. So we're just going to go ahead and make a swatch today. And for this twin V stitch, you must note that you have to make a chain of 12 or larger in order for the pattern to work out. So for a sample swatch, you're going to make a chain in a multiple of four. So that means you're going to do four, eight, twelve, and so on to get your desired width. So for my sample swatch, I'm just going to go ahead and chain 20. So let's zoom up a little bit more. Okay, so to make a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and you're going to pull through that loop. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Continue until you have 20 chains or if you want to make this into a larger sample or work on a different project you want to make sure that you have a chain that is a multiple of four. Okay so I have my 20 chains so we're going to go ahead and begin row one. For row one, you're going to make two double crochets into the fifth chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. And you're going to count five chains from your hook. So one, two, three, four, and five. And in that fifth chain, you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that fifth chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first double crochet. We're going to make one more double crochet into that same chain. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we're going to go into that very next chain and we're going to make two more double crochets into that chain. So in this very next chain right here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to make two double crochets. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat. So for the repeat, we're going to skip the next two chains and you're going to make two double crochets in the next two chains. So skip two chains, one and two, and in the chain after that, you're going to make two double crochets. So one, and two, 
in that very next chain, you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets. one and two and that is the end of your repeat so you're going to go ahead and repeat this from the beginning so you're going to go ahead and skip two chains you're going to make two double crochets in that next chain and two double crochets in the next chain after that and you're going to repeat this all the way across since you have two chains remaining so let me show you one more time. You're going to skip two chains, one and two, and in that next chain, you're going to make two double crochets. Okay, and then in that chain after that, you're going to go ahead and make two more double crochets. So one and two. Okay, so you're going to skip two chains, one and two, and again, two double crochets in the next two chains. So one and two, and then in that very next chain, again, two chain or two double crochets. Okay, so when you reach the end of your row, you're going to go ahead and skip one chain and you're going to double crochet into the last chain. So skip one chain and that very last chain, go ahead and make one double crochet. And then this is what your first row is going to look like. Now if you have trouble keeping your sides straight, I highly recommend putting a stitch marker in the very first stitch and the very last stitch of each row. So in this case, with this last double crochet, you're going to insert your stitch marker right here and you're going to continue to change it after each row. And then for the beginning, you're going to have those skipped chains and you're just going to put that in the second chain from the top. So this is your first double crochet, the chain right next to it you're going to skip, and the chain right below it is where you're going to go ahead and insert your crochet hook. So right here. Or you're going to insert your stitch marker rather. And that way you're just going to keep on building it up. Okay, so for row two, you're going to go ahead and chain three and turn. And this chain three is going to count as your first double crochet. So next, you're going to go ahead and skip that next stitch. And you're going to make two double crochets in the next two stitches. So if your chain three counts as your first double crochet, you're not going to go in this stitch right here. You're going to skip this next stitch right here. And in that next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So if you pull your work apart a little bit, you're going to see your four double crochets from the previous row. And you're going to be working with the two middle double crochets. So you have the first and the fourth double crochets right here. And then you can see your second and third double crochets. Those are the stitches that you're going to be working in. And you're just going to lay the stitches right on top of one another in order for this pattern to form and work out. So again, you're going to skip that single or that double crochet right here. And in that next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So one. And two and in that very next stitch you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets so again if you look at your work a little bit you can see the four double crochets here and you can see that you worked in the two middle double crochet stitches Okay, so to start the repeat, 
you're going to go ahead and skip the next two stitches and then you're going to work two double crochets into each of the next two stitches. So you're going to skip one and two stitches and again working with the two middle double crochets from the previous row you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets in each of the next two stitches. So one and two and in that next stitch make two double crochets. One and two. And that's the end of our repeat. So again you're just going to repeat this all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. You're going to skip the next two stitches in the stitch after that. Go ahead and make two double crochets. One and two. In the stitch after that, make two double crochets. You're going to skip the next two stitches, one and two, and in the stitch after that, you're going to make two double crochets. In the stitch after that, make two double crochets. Okay, so when you get to the very end, you should have two chains remaining or two stitches remaining. And remember, you place that stitch marker in the second chain from the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to skip that next stitch skip the chain after that and in that indicated stitch where you have your stitch marker that is where you're going to put your last double crochet. And then again you're going to insert your stitch marker in that very last double crochet that you just made and then you're going to insert your stitch marker in that second chain from the beginning. So at the beginning you chain three so you're going to count up one and two and you're going to put your stitch marker in that second chain. And then here is what two rows looks like. So to continue this pattern you're going to simply repeat row two over and over again so I'm going to go ahead and make a few more rows just so you can really see what the pattern looks like and then I will come back and show you what my work looks like. Okay so here is what a few more rows looks like and like I said you're going to be stacking the double crochets right on top of one another. This is a very fun stitch to make and like I said it's more of an advanced beginner maybe a little bit more intermediate but I would not let that stop you if you are a beginner. You can definitely give this a try. And you can put this with so many different color options. I bet it would look beautiful in just about every color combination out there. So again, this is the Twin V Stitch. And I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, Happy crocheting. Bye.